Let's say we take a piece of paper, normal piece of paper. Okay, got it. It's an infinitely large piece of paper. All right, so not a normal piece of paper. That you can fold in half forever. How many times would you have to fold a piece of paper in half for it to get to the moon? That seems like, why would anybody ever want to talk about this? It's me. What is the math behind this idea that it takes just 42 folds of a piece of paper to somehow get all the way to the moon? The moon is really far away and a piece of paper is not very thick, so it certainly doesn't sound like it should only take 42 folds to get there. And yet that is exactly true because of the power of exponential growth. Now, Nate actually had an interesting guess here for what the true answer should be to this question, how many folds of a piece of paper does it take to get to a moon? He thought a trillion. A a piece of paper is roughly a tenth of a millimeter thick, so you would need 10,000 of these to make one meter. The moon, unsurprisingly, is very far away from us. It is roughly 384 million meters away from Earth. If you calculate that out, what you're going to see is that you need roughly 3 trillion 844 billion pieces of paper in order to get from the Earth to the moon. So guessing a trillion is pretty good if you're thinking about the number of pieces of paper you would need to to get to the moon. The problem, of course, is that's not what folding does. When we fold our piece of paper once, we double its thickness, right? It's now, I guess, about two tenths of a millimeter thick. But if we fold it again, what we get is not something that is now one piece of paper thicker. Instead, it's almost like this is now four different pieces of paper. So folding this twice actually got us something that was four times as thick as it was before. Of course, as you do this over and over again, you get something that grows very quickly, something that grows X exponentially, to the point where if we just fold our piece of paper 10 times, we're going to get something that's actually a little over a thousand times as thick as we started with. That's because two to the 10th, those would be the 10 folds I mentioned a moment ago, is 1,024. What we need here is some power of two that gets us close to that 3 trillion 844 billion number from earlier. Fortunately, we don't have to sit here and actually double by twos to figure this out. We can use a tool called a logarithm. If we take the logarithm base two of this number, 3.8 trillion, we're going to get back roughly 41.8. That's where the 42 is coming from. This logarithm is telling us, oh, you would need somewhere between 41 and 42 folds to get the actual thickness you need to go from the Earth to the moon.